Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 21st. Keep in mind the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you now. Typically these readings resonate with me a few days after I do them, uh, so just keep that in mind. So what do we have for a message today? is wiggly. I don't know why. What do we have for a message today? Princess of Cups. Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is welcome and unexpected news. After the Tower because this is in the past. So I feel like there's been some sort of disruption. Somebody may have avoided something. Maybe they were avoiding following their heart. Um, this is some sort of false sense of security. You know, there could have been some sort of extreme loss here in the past. I think there's already been, there's already been a tower moment. There's something to do with moving. Princess of Cups or, you know, a change in a foundation has happened. Now there is some good news that is coming with that page of cups. There's some sort of good news that is coming. Nine of swords reversed. Strength reversed. Weakness. Hmm. extremely stressed out, regretful. Somebody is regretful. Death, death. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna say, I'm not sure if there's some illness here. Both of these cards symbolize illness and so doesn't the tower, honestly. But the Princess of Cups is typically good news, or it could just be emotional news. Something emotional. Heartfelt. Heartfelt communication, because that is a messenger. There is going to be some news that is coming. Um, it is going to stir up the emotions. It does have to do with an ending. Absolutely. Endings lead to new beginnings. The Nine of Swords in reverse is typically extremely stressful. Somebody is extreme, or they're ill. There could definitely, with a Strength card right next to it, there could be some illness here. Now, but the Death card is a transformation. It is a time of transition. It is releasing. What you know, one one what, something ends and something new begins, and there is, but that strength card reverse that is in the future that is weak. It is regretful. Somebody may be regretful, extremely regretful. Their pride may have gotten in the way of something. I feel like we have depression here with the Nine of Swords reversed and the Strength reversed. Somebody may be very depressed over an ending, over the death of something. Both these cards are depressed. There's been some sort of loss. I think I said that at the beginning. I can't remember if I did, but I feel like there's been some sort of loss that was extreme, extremely painful. The tower is extremes, okay? I feel like we definitely have some health problems here. A 
Eight of Swords reversed. The Sun card. We have a new life. We have a new beginning. Definitely have a new beginning that is coming. This is seeing the light. This is a light bulb moment. It is an awakening. This is a breakthrough. This is a life-giving energy. After, and this is removing an obstacle. An obstacle is being removed. Somebody has been confined or restricted or they've been choosing not to see something. This is enlightenment, becoming enlightened. Removing a restriction and it could just be fear. This is fear as well. And it's interesting, somebody may be fearful of, an, of falling in love or something like that. I feel like this restriction is being removed. This is creating a new life. This is the birth of a new life. This one is too. So we have an ending that does lead to a new beginning. This is very beautiful. This is happiness. This is joy. There could also be news of that has to do with a child. It feels like it's good news. It may not be about a child. It could be, but we, we definitely, pages can resemble children, and so, so can't the sun card. There is something about being accepted, and it's accepting, accepting something. Somebody is accepting an ending, and they're stepping into a new life. They're breaking free from some sort of fear. This is depressed. It is uh, paranoid, extremely worried. I feel like the worries are going to dissipate. This could be a lack of self-confidence, a lack of self-esteem. You know, somebody may have been very depressed about themselves, not wanting to be, make themselves vulnerable. But I feel like we have a new beginning here. We definitely have a new beginning with the death card next to the sun card. This is a transformation. This is a profound change. We have renewal in both of these cards as well. So there is some sort of new life-giving energy. This is a new life. This is the beginning of a new life. Somebody may be receiving something that helps them to remove a restriction. This is removing the fear. It's stepping into unknown territory. It's stepping out, out of that uh, mental prison. Somebody has definitely been in a mental prison. They've been... Uh, extremely depressed maybe their health is declining you know stress kills this is stress stress kills so i don't know whose message that is for um this is a permanent loss it is the tower reverse is a permanent loss um there could be some extreme health problems that do lead to a permanent permanent loss that wakes somebody up you know somebody else Somebody could avoid disruption by uh, probably taking a new approach and, and not restricting themselves. But we have somebody here that has been restricting themselves with that Eight of Swords. If they need to reevaluate. And I do feel like they have a reevaluated or there's going to be a reevaluation. Nine of Swords reversed. I feel like we have, and this could be mentally ill. We, I feel like we have somebody here that is sick. But this is a very healing energy. The Sun card is. There's an ending that leads to a new beginning. This is a new life. This is health improving. If somebody has been depressed or they've been sick or they've been ill, I feel like the, their health is going to be improving as soon as they remove themselves from a situation that they have chosen to be in. Sun card is um, acceptance. It's just being yourself. This is a new life. This is good. It's happy. We have somebody here that is 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 probably going to be in a very good place because they have removed themselves from a disastrous situation. This is a disaster. This is removing oneself from the situation and being very 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 happy it's it's growing it's it's a time of transformation so i feel like we have somebody here that is um 
things are going to start to get better or they're going to be getting or they are getting better after there's been some sort of major uh, disruption in their lives that dis that disruption is behind them this is a very healing energy it is but i feel i feel like in the immediate future there's there's a need to have confidence there's a need to uh, master emotions and accept and allow this change to happen and to release something because death is about release. Somebody needs to release something that that is already over with that has already ended. They need to find their uh, probably their mental ability to do so. Nine of Swords is very mental. Okay, it is. And so is the Eight of Swords. So we have somebody here that has been struggling mentally with releasing, with letting go, with transitioning, with the change. And this is definitely a profound change with the Tower and the Death in the same reading. But this this is this is all happened because this was in a it may have been a safety zone. It may have been a safe what well, wasn't safe, but it may, may have appeared to be safe. This person's wearing a something over their eyes they weren't seeing clearly and I feel like we have somebody here that was in a desperate situation that I feel like they've broken free we have freedom here we have freedom here there's freedom here there's freedom freedom from a false sense of security it's realizing accepting something this is acceptance is seeing there it's clarity it's coming out of the darkness somebody is coming out of a dark period this is like a what is it the the, the dark night of the soul coming out of it this is this is this is a uh, maybe it's like the phoenix rising from the ashes it's like there's been some serious uh, setback something huge with the tower card that has happened I feel you know it could be you know a, a, something big okay something really big could be a relationship that collapsed it could be a house that uh, got taken away or somebody got kicked out or somebody hit the ground right they hit the ground this they had a huge tower moment this is rising above it it's rising and 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 finding happiness again so it is it's like the phoenix it's like a rebirth we have a rebirth and be things being more beautiful than they were before so i do feel like it is a tr time of transition it's a time of transformation and we do have a rebirth here both these cards resemble rebirth i see i see health improving things getting better after there has been a significant uh, dismantling of a false sense of security this is good news arriving somebody is going to receive a message or an offer or an invite that makes them extremely happy this is the new beginning that uh, was meant to happen after this event whatever this event was the tower is a universal forced change that has already happened by the looks of things now this is a blessing this is absolutely a blessing a blessing is coming um so this is a new life it is a new beginning um there's going to be a need to replace your fear with faith don't don't let your fear get in the way because there's fear here there's fear Remove that obstacle of fear and step into that unknown territory. Um, one more card, please. Death is a profound change after a separation or a loss. We have a new beginning here. We definitely have a new beginning. Eight of Cups reverse. Now the Eight of Cups reverse. Maybe there could be an apology that is coming. Somebody may be saying, I'm sorry. Um, eight of cups eight of cups upright is saying goodbye something could somebody could be coming back that left somebody could also be leaving without saying goodbye now that it's next to the death card okay somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye there 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 could be a significant ending um just saying there could be a significant ending in the future somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye i mean i have to be honest i know some people don't like it but it is what it is 
I think we have a necessary but painful alteration that has happened. Somebody may have been pretending to be happy or they were shallow or they were staying put, avoiding. And this is avoiding and this is avoiding. Somebody has been avoiding leaving an emotionally disappointing situation, staying put when there's a lack of happiness. And so I feel like, and, and they maybe they were feeling weak. Maybe they were weak. They didn't have any courage. They didn't have the strength. They didn't. They weren't. They couldn't be brave. But they were giving deep thought to a relationship, restricting themselves to a false sense of security. Now they're going to be following their heart in a new direction. And that's another whole story right there. This is an awakening. It really is. It's seeing a light. It's a little light bulb moment. So I feel like we definitely have an ending that leads to a new beginning here. We have somebody here that has been in an emotionally discontent situation. They um, have not been in good health. They have not been happy. They've been stressed out. They've been playing it safe. And I feel like there is going to be a significant change in that situation where somebody... Uh, decides to go after happiness and they're they're gonna make it I feel like they're just gonna break free from this uh mental prison that they've been in and step out. It's like I'm stepping out of this. I'm I'm getting out of this. Even and I think they've been giving deep, deep, deep thought because the nine of swords reversed is giving deep thought to something and having a hard time sleeping. I mean, not getting much sleep at all thinking about what their heart wants. Anyway, I do believe we have somebody here that is going to be uh, reacting um, via their feelings because of that page of cups. I also feel like we have somebody here that has been ignoring their intuition with these two cards and but I feel like now I feel like now it's very clear it's it's clear it's it's clear it's clear as day is what I want to say it's clear as day that it's time to release it's time it's time okay um <laughs> ace of wands on the bottom this is just going for it this is this is exciting this is starting with a clean slate it really is this is uh, a new vision, a new desire, a new adventure, taking action. Somebody's about to take action. They have this, and here we have the sun again. So this is uh, enlightenment. Somebody has gotten some sort of new vision and they are taking action. This is an action card. This is like a new spark or a sudden desire or a sudden change. It's very, very, very clear. This is a new beginning. It is. We definitely have a new beginning here. This could be a new spark, could be a new sexual par partner. A new what it doesn't have to be sexual. This could be this is a new sudden desire to do something. This is also taking a leap of faith. It is so bright. This is a bright opportunity. This is like seeing the light and it is very clear. Look at how big that sun is. It is bright. So we have somebody here that is basically seeing very, very clearly what they have to do or what they want to do. It's more what they want to do. You know, we have this page of cups. What I just, what I just, what I just heard in my head was love at first sight. This is following the heart, expressing feelings. We may we may have an admirer here that is going to be expressing their feelings. This is following the heart and trusting the gut. Uh, this is a sudden desire to go for something. So I do believe that we have we have some sort of action that is being taken. I think it's very suddenly. Um, whatever this is, it's a positive change. And it's good news that is coming. This is life changing after there has been some sort of crumbling of a foundation.
Good news is coming. It's gonna make you happy. Good luck. <laughs>